Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel. Today I have a great little beauty box that has been sent to me for review. It is Glossy Box, which is just $21 per month, which always promises at least five products and a value of at least $75, sometimes well over that. This is always a really fun box too because they give us great little boxes. You can see this one says the art of beauty with this really stylized image. And as I open it up, you will hear that it's a nice hard cardboard. So it does make a great storage box. I know a lot of people like to collect them and stack them and kind of organize their beauty products that way, which is a really fun and understandable idea. So inside of this one, it's got this cute little design drawing as well with some lipstick and a brush. That's really cute. It says, hi, beautiful. So if you are interested in subscribing, you can use the affiliate link that I'll leave for you in the description box below and the code Noel, and that will save you $5. So essentially you're getting your first box for just $16. And if you haven't already checked out my unboxing of their summer limited edition, if you can still get in on that, I highly suggest you do. I thought the value on that was great. I still think the bag is one of the coolest ones that I've ever seen. And subscribers can get that box for just 30 bucks, or you can get it as a non-subscriber, just a one-time purchase for 35. Either way, great deal. So check Check out that unboxing if you haven't already and just to make things fun you guys because I know that I often post my glossy box unboxings a little bit later than everyone else I do have a giveaway for you so I actually have an extra one of these female founded glossy boxes that I also opened here on the channel this one is totally unopened totally new it's not the one that I opened here on the channel and I want to share it with one of you so you have to stay tuned in this video to find out how to win so totally new see you can even see the little ribbon there and it even has the uh, product card for a change so inside of the one for August though we have our product card which is always kind of shaped like a little mini magazine oh there's a little extra one let me read this card to you. It says, Hey Glossy, we're so excited to share this month's box with you. As always, each month features five beauty products worth over $75. Use code HEYGLOSSY. It will get your followers a surprise at checkout. Now, I don't know if you can combine that with the Noel $5 off coupon. Probably not. Sometimes my link will automatically take that $5 off, in which case maybe you can get this extra free gift. But I guess if it doesn't, you're just going to have to choose which one you want. Either way, I totally appreciate you using my link. I would say that the free gift is probably going to have a higher value than $5, but if you're like, I don't want to take the chance, I just want my $5 off, then use that code instead. But again, the code is Hey Glossy, and I will try to remember to put that in the description box below as well, so you can choose. You can choose your adventure. All right, let me untie this bow. So it says, time to play. Explore your creative side with this colorful palette. Wake up and glow. Sleep your way to smoother, more hydrated skin. Extra treat. Try Victor and Rolf's brand new signature scent. Okay, so I think we got some spoilers there for sure, but this is what it looks like. Then on the back, it is showing me that, yes, we got an extra gift, so probably a total of five products this time around, which is nice. So here is our little booklet. It's just, you know, just a folded sheet, but it's always got top tips, which is my favorite part because I kind of make fun of them because usually the top tip is literally just the instructions but that's okay, it still kind of adds to the fun. So let's read the intro. It says, hey Glossies, when our daily lives can feel like we're running, running on autopilot, it's great to take a moment to simply let go and allow our creative juices to flow. This month's box is inspired by the art of beauty, and I do think this image is kind of fun. It says, products that let us step out of our comfort zone and tools that help us feel like a masterpiece. We cannot wait to see what you create. Stay glossy. Well, let's see if we feel like a masterpiece after this box, you guys. Let me open this up. All right. So the first thing I see is like a full size bottle of something. It, yeah, 20, 250 milliliters. Authentic beauty concept it says authentic beauty is real, honest, and purpose driven. What we leave out is just as important as what we put in. That's true. It says performance driven vegan formulas free from microplastics, mineral oil, parabens, and silicones. Oh, it's a beachy texture spray for wavy texture. So that is one of those things that very popular in the summer months. Not gonna work for me. So I said it in a recent unboxing when I also got like a sea spray uh, that's supposed to give you that beachy textured mermaid wavy hair. 
that doesn't work for someone like me who has very thin, very straight hair. I already kind of like air dry my hair, but for me, my hair looks best when it's very smooth and sleek and I've kind of tamed the frizzies. So this is probably not going to work, but I do think it's nice that they sent it to us a full size and it is something that I have friends who totally pull off that look who will totally enjoy this. So it says, whether you're creating a laid back summer beachy wave or an on-trend braided updo, texture is key. Shake up this lightweight, non-crunchy spray and spritz through the roots and lengths of your hair before blow drying or styling. Your organic sugar and sea salt ingredients will give your hair volume, shape, and better grip or make you look like you need to wash your hair. So uh, in terms of uh, making me feel like a masterpiece, this is, this is not the product. It says it has an MSRP of $20. Here's our tip. It doesn't say top tip anymore. It just says tip. It says great for air drying, spray onto damp hair and allow your natural hair texture to take shape. My natural hair texture is straight. So I feel like it could do that on its own. I don't want to add texture to my hair. All right, what's this? Something, something from the UK. It says tangle teaser, professional detangling hairbrush, wet and dry. Oh, it's one of those like handheld brushes. All right, I don't know why I like made a claw. <laughs> Let me see if I can figure out how to open this up. Okay, so that was that was harder than I thought it would be. Um, let's see what it says. This is also full size. It'd be funny if they gave us a sample size of a hairbrush. So it says the original mini detangling brush. So it's kind of in this like coral color, I guess. Like on this side, it's more of like a mauve. On this side, it's coral. It says small in size, but big on detangling. The original brush from Tangle Teaser is a firm favorite among the Glossy Box team, and the smaller version is perfect for your purse or travel bag. No pulling or tugging. It's super gentle and glides through wet or dry hair easily. MSRP on this is $9.99. So you can see it, it does feel good in my hand this way. Um, I'm not sure if it would work with someone who's left-handed as well, but you can see there are multiple sizes on the bristles. Hopefully you can see that. So there's some shorter ones that are about half the length as the longer ones. But again, I have such thin hair that as long as the bristles aren't too close together, it works for me as a dry or wet brush. But for looking nicer after the beach, I have found that it is very important for me to run a brush or a comb or even my fingers through my hair so that it dries less tangled. So this is something that I would probably use. It is very lightweight. Um, I would love someone to create a brush though that's like easy to pack in your bag just because I always feel like they are sort of an awkward shape. And this one in particular seems like it would be, I don't know, kind of like take up a lot of space. I don't know. So. I'm going to go ahead and put that back into its little, I think it was like packaged incorrectly. I'm going to put it back into its little package um, and maybe share that with someone else or maybe take it on my trip. I have been looking for like a good little like travel brush. I think that's what it's supposed to look like. All right, let's see what else we've got. Um, let's see. Tip, major tangles, start by sectioning your hair and work from the bottom upwards, just like when you're grooming a horse. Yes, that's something I learned, but that is, that is actually a top tip. That's fair. So here is our Good Fortune Victor and Rolf uh, perfume, which I totally dropped on the ground, but that's nice. It's just like a little tiny sample size, like the kind that you used to get like at Christmas time or in the department stores. So this is what it looks like. So this is a new scent. It's an extra treat. It's called Good Fortune. It's just one of these little spray bottles. Meet our new perfume obsession. The Good Fortune fragrance was inspired by Victor and Rolf's spiritual glamour haute couture collection. Wow, that's a mouthful. Spiritual glamour haute couture collection. I feel like a lot of those things are like oxymorons. Um, and it's wonderfully feminine and powerful. Top notes are fennel and gentian flower, heart of jasmine, and bottom notes of creamy bourbon vanilla. That does sound very like powerful, very um Okay, so it says the sample is 1.2 milliliters. The full size starts at 30 milliliters for $88. Why is fragrance so expensive, you guys? I don't understand. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it. Hmm, okay, this reminds me of something else. It kind of, it's not quite as spicy and as deep, but it kind of reminds me a little bit of Narciso Rodriguez. Um, I used to love that scent. So I, it's more of a fall scent for me because it is a little bit like, it's definitely got a little bit more earthiness to it. It totally reminds me of that scent. It could be totally wrong, by the way, but I like it. It's just not really like one of the fresher, like uh, summer scents that I'd probably use, but it's worth a try. It's always fun getting new scents because 
perfume is so expensive. Ooh, I may have sprayed a little bit more than I needed to. Let's see what else we've got. We've got a makeup brush. Now, I don't use a ton of makeup, but generally I think it's fun that Glossy Box does send us makeup products and brushes and tools. It's weird that so far two of our five main products were hair issue, hair items, but this is from Luxie. It's a nice looking brush, but again, as a girl who doesn't do a lot of makeup, um, I don't really like know the difference. I know you should be able to feel it in the bristles and you don't want like the bristles to fall out obviously, but you know, why is everything in peach and pink? Why? Why? Why can't we? <laughs> why? This is also considered full size. Also would be funny if they gave us like a sample makeup brush um, by Luxie Beauty. It's the 205 tapered blending brush. We love Luxie for their huge range of brush shapes and their pleasing pink and rose gold designs. The 205 is a great all rounder ideal for applying and blending out transition colors in your crease. That seems like a really big brush for blending your eyeshadow or for blending any harsh lines in your eyeshadow look. Plus the synthetic bristles are super easy to clean. It has an MSRP of $15. So this is not the brush that they're talking about. This is a totally different brush. The tip is angle is everything for delicate detail. Hold the brush perpendicular to your face and lightly tap on the color. Let me see what number this actually is. So I'm looking at the picture, you guys. That is an eyeshadow brush. It's like a little, like looks like a little round brush doesn't look like it has an angle or anything. Um, obviously it looks similar because it's in the same line, but this has got to be a different number. Yeah, this is the 504 large angled brush. They're talking about the 205. So there may be some variation in the brush that you receive. I'll have to figure out what I'm supposed to do with this. It's not, doesn't look like quite big enough to be like a foundation brush. So maybe for that thing that I don't know how to do, which is like contour, it looks very soft. It looks like I just want to run it all over my face just for the heck of it, but I'm not going to because I have friends who are really good with their makeup. Um, so maybe I'll <laughs> gift that to one of them or somebody who like is a Luxie brand fanatic. Let's see. Let's see if we can find something in here that I will use. This is the Night Brightening Sleeping Facial. So, hmm. All right. Let's see what that says also in rose. I guess maybe they were going for like a color palette with this curation because everything is in like roses and pinks and corals. All right, this is, it says vitamin super C. This is a deluxe size by Cores. It says apothecary wild rose night brightening sleeping facial. Man, we've got some long names in this box. It says all great art needs a beautiful canvas and your skin is the most important canvas of all. This nourishing and smoothing formula contains vitamin C and rose extracts to brighten, plump, reduce dark spots and leave skin looking more even. Leave it on overnight and wake up looking glowing and hydrating. 20 milliliters worth is uh, $25. The full size, which would be twice the size at 40 is $50. So this one is half the size, but just a little bit more than half in price. Uh, tip, apply a nickel sized amount to the face and neck each night, avoiding the eye area. So um, if you rub your eyes a lot, maybe don't, don't try it on at night. So interesting. It does say that it has rose in it. I know that vitamin C I generally like for brightening, but I also know that vitamin C can be kind of harsh on some skin types. I used to think that I was like one of those like combination skin types and not particularly sensitive, but lately I've been a little bit more careful. So I probably won't use this just because it does, it says brighten and plump. So the brightening is probably with the, um, vitamin C, but just because I don't like rose scents, now I don't know that just because it says it has rose extracts that I would smell the rose in it, but better safe than sorry. We're not doing so good, you guys. We're not doing so good. Now, this is exciting because we do not get palettes in Glossy Box very often. Every once in a while, maybe like once every four months, and then usually they're like little itty bitty ones. So this is like a normal size palette. It's got a really cute little mushroom on it. You know, the box that I do miss, and I feel like this month has been me making references to boxes that no longer exist. I have mentioned so many of them. Even now in the beauty realm, I'm going to mention uh, the box by Fashion Style which was one of the boxes that I did really love, but people always gave them a hard time because you got a palette pretty much every single month. It was like a little bit of overload, especially for someone like me. And now I'm kind of like, I want to try a new eyeshadow palette. So maybe this is one I'll, I'll hold on to. So it says Hidden Garden from Estate. So they have sent us Estate palettes before. I have to say I did keep a little quad from Estate. 
I didn't find it super pigmented like when I used a brush to apply it it like I had to apply several layers I think it worked better when I actually applied it with my finger you just got more of that saturation so I wasn't super happy but it could have been the colors in the palette because they were very bright it was like a bright lavender and like a coral so maybe this will have a little more depth to it let's hope it says this is full size so basically we got four full size products and one deluxe size for the sleeping mask the sleeping facial and then we also got that perfume sample which i can definitely still smell and i kind of i'm it's growing on me because you know sometimes they're like way too strong as, at first all right so i slid the little little sleeve off and then of course there is the little plastic protector let me hide the mirror this is a very usable, very earthy palette. My favorite is that like eggplant color down there. Looks like some of them are shimmers, some of them are mattes. Colors I would use, I'm actually looking, I feel like I have most of those colors already represented in the few palettes that I have. Um, I don't use a lot of the like browns and like light shades even for like highlight just because they don't show up very well on me because I have like darker toned skin anyway. But Let's talk about it. It says, Hidden Garden Pigment Palette. It's time to release your inner artist. Grab your brush and tap into the beautifully rich mattes and shimmers inside this eyeshadow palette. There's neutral tones you can wear every day to flatter and contour your eyes, but there's also green, purple, and red to create colorful, smoky, artistic looks. MSRP, $30. That's a very reasonable price on that. Tip. Pair the dark brown shade with a small brush and use as a soft eyeliner, perfect for daytime definition. I feel like when I do, like, eyeliner eyeshadow eyeliner it just looks messy like my eyeshadow is running um so it would have been cute i like the idea that they gave us this palette with this artistic uh theme that was a good idea but it was kind of a bummer that the brush that they sent me is not an eyeshadow brush like that would have felt like well well thought out it'd be like here's your mask and then here's your palette and your brush you know, I got a palette and a brush, but they don't go together. And then for your hair, here's your texturizing spray, but then also brush out all that texture with the brush. I don't know. I don't know if it's a full, like, look. I feel like with this uh, masterpiece idea, with this artistic thing, it should have been, like, perhaps a more bold palette, a little bit more out of the box, or perhaps like a full face box where it's really giving you all of the tools and all of the products that you need to do a whole look. I don't know. That's my personal opinion. The products themselves are fine. It's just they're not necessarily products that I will personally use, except for maybe the palette. I would have been really excited to go ahead and try that palette with the brush if I got the right brush, but I have brushes. It's okay. Um, let me know what you guys thought about this box in the comments below. And, um, Let's go ahead and come up with our way that I'm going to send this box out to one of you. So this is the female founded box again. If I remember, I will link my unboxing of this at the end of this video. So we'll do what we do for our secret passwords, but we're going to go ahead and do it old school and have you write in the comments below what, let's see what your favorite female founded company is and there are so many of them out there you guys so your favorite female founded company where you really like the backstory the origin story of it comment that below and then let's see let's see when this is posting so probably around the 25th we'll keep it open for a full week maybe the 24th let's say the 24th we i will use a random comment picker to select a winner so as long as you have subscribed to my channel and you're 18 years or older then i will contact you in the comments i will just pin your comment or comment back on it that you have won after using that random comment picker and then we'll figure out a way for you to get in contact with me so that i can send you this female founded glossy box does that sound good so in the comments below to enter to win this box you're going to let me know your favorite female founded company it does not have to be a beauty company at all i hope you all enjoyed this video if you did please do give it a thumbs up it might even be your own company which is really cool um but make it one that i can like look up make it one that other people can look up why not it'd be kind of a nice list for us all to have i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope to see you all very very soon in my next unboxing